How to Use Eleven Labs, the AI Music Generator. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to dive into something really exciting creating music with Eleven Labs. Over the past few months, Eleven Labs has been making waves in the AI audio space, and now they've taken things to the next level by allowing you to produce full on music tracks. This means AI generated audio is no longer just about basic text to speech voices or simple sound effects. You can actually compose original music directly through the platform. So, let's walk through the process step by step. First, head over to the Eleven Labs website, and on the top right hand corner of the home page, you'll notice the sign up button. Give that a click to get started. You can create your account using your email address, and once you've successfully registered, you'll be taken straight to your main dashboard. Here on the dashboard, you'll see two main sections. On the top left, there's the conversational AI area where you can build, customize, and manage AI-powered chat or voice agents. Then there's the creative platform, which is the part we're most interested in today because this is where all the audio, sound effects, and music creation magic happens. Since we're focusing on making music, switch over to the creative platform view. Once you're inside, you'll find a navigation menu on the left-hand side. Look for the playground option. This is your main workspace for testing and experimenting with creative tools. Within the products section, you'll notice a variety of tools available. Go ahead and click on music. This will open up the music creation interface. Here, you'll be able to choose how many different variants of a track you want the AI to generate for you, as well as set the duration for your song. Whether you want a short 30 second piece for a quick project or a longer track for something more cinematic. Once you've set the track duration and number of variants, the next step is to actually describe the kind of song you want to create. For example, let's say I want to make a short nursery rhyme designed to help kids fall asleep. I'd simply type in a short description like that into the prompt field. After that, I'll go ahead and click on the generate button. Now in this example, I'm giving the AI a very general prompt, nothing too complex. But don't worry, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to write more detailed and effective prompts so you can really shape the sound you're imagining. At the top of the interface, you'll notice sections labeled Include Styles, Exclude Styles, and Areas for Intro, Verse, and Outro. Once the AI generates your song, you'll see all of these sections automatically filled in based on your description. Down at the bottom of the page, you can actually preview the generated lyrics and arrangement. For my nursery rhyme example, here's what Eleven Labs came up with. Hush now, sleepy head. Close your weary eyes. Dreams are softly calling, guiding you tonight. Rest your head on pillows. Feel the warmth and peace. Drift on clouds of comfort. Let your worries cease. Sleep until the morning. Safe and sweetest dreams, morning light will find you wrapped in gentle breeze. You can hear how the AI has built an entire structure, intro, verse, and outro. Even though I only gave it a basic idea, this is the magic of AI music generation. But remember, this was just a simple, minimal prompt. The more specific you are with your instructions, the more the music will feel like what you have in mind. For instance, if I want to fine tune this song further, I could start by specifying a genre. Let's say I want to make the track more ambient to give it that soft atmospheric feel perfect for bedtime. I can simply type, make this more ambient. Next, I'd think about the emotion or mood I want the music to convey. In this case, I'd add something like, make this dreamy and calming. These extra details help the AI lock onto the exact style you're aiming for. And since the platform also lets you include or exclude certain styles, you can easily prevent unwanted elements from appearing in your track. When it comes to refining your music prompt, you can start by listing descriptive keywords that capture the overall vibe of your track. For example, in my case, I might use words like lullaby, soft, soothing, simple melody, and calm. 
These help set the tone for the AI, so it understands the kind of atmosphere you're aiming for. After setting the mood, it's time to describe the beat, instruments, or specific sounds you want included. If you already have a clear vision for the instrumentation, this is the perfect place to tell the AI. For instance, I might want the track to feature an acoustic guitar for warmth or a slow piano for a gentle emotional feel. You can also mix and match, asking for multiple instruments to create richer layers. Next, you'll choose the tempo of the song. The tempo determines how fast or slow the track feels. It's essentially the speed of the beats. You can describe it in words like slow tempo, mid tempo, or fast tempo, or you can get more precise by giving the AI an exact beats per minute BPM number. If you know the BPM that fits your style, just type it in. In my case, I'm going with a slow tempo to keep the lullaby feeling gentle and relaxing. From there, you can also define the structure or progression of the song. This tells the AI how you want the track to evolve over time. For example, maybe you want it to start soft, build gradually, and then have a dramatic drop after 30 seconds. Or maybe you want it to stay steady and unobtrusive for background use. For my lullaby, I feel like the default outro ends too quickly. So I'll tell the AI to create a longer outro that fades gently. This way, the track closes in a smoother, more satisfying way for the listener. Finally, don't forget to specify your use case. Whether the music is for a bedtime playlist, a meditation video, a YouTube background track, or even a podcast intro, giving the AI this context helps it fine-tune the track for your intended audience and setting. So once again, what we have right now is an AI-generated lullaby designed to help children drift off to sleep. At this stage, I'm going to make a few targeted alterations to the track we just created. And importantly, I'm asking the AI to apply these changes to this exact song, rather than starting completely from scratch. To give you some perspective, Eleven Labs isn't limited to lullabies. You can create a wide variety of styles, everything from cinematic scores to YouTube background music, and even retro-inspired tracks with a nostalgic vibe. Now, the AI is processing my updated instructions and generating a new version of our song. Let's take a listen. This is our first variation, and here's part of what it produced. Moonlight on your window, stars are shining bright, dreams are softly calling, guiding you tonight. Rest your head on pillows, feel the warmth and peace. Drift on clouds of comfort, let your worries see. Sleep until the morning, safe in sweetest dreams. Morning light will find you, wrapped in gentle beams. You can hear how this variation keeps the gentle, dreamy atmosphere, but with subtle adjustments that give it a more ambient quality. It's still soothing and relaxing, but the texture feels slightly richer. With that done, I'm ready to move on and create something completely different, so you can see the range of what Eleven Labs can do. This time, I'm aiming for epic, cinematic orchestral music with rising intensity the kind you'd typically hear in a movie trailer, a thriller scene, or a suspenseful game sequence. To build this, I'll use all seven elements we discussed earlier. Instruments, mood, genre, tempo, structure, use case, and optional reference tracks. For the instruments, I'm going with strings, horns, and dramatic percussion. The mood will be heroic, starting slow and then building into a powerful climax. The structure will follow that rising tension pattern, and the use case will be for a movie trailer. Here's the full prompt I've entered. Epic, cinematic, orchestral music with rising intensity. Strings and horns layered with dramatic percussion. Mood is heroic and suspenseful. Starts slow, builds into a powerful climax. Ideal for a movie trailer. I've asked the AI to create two variations of this track. Now, it's breaking my instructions down into sections like Opening ambience theme, introduction, rising tension, dramatic climb, 
and finally epic climax. Once the build is complete, I'll play you exactly what it sounds like so you can hear just how versatile Eleven Labs is when it comes to music creation. So it's safe to say that Eleven Labs has created an absolutely fantastic piece of music for our trailer, or really for any type of video project we might be working on. Honestly, it sounds like something I could hear playing in an actual cinema before a big movie starts. It's polished, it's dramatic, and it really captures that cinematic feel. Now, here's the great part. You can create as much music as you want with Eleven Labs, but if you plan to use it commercially, you'll need to upgrade your account. The platform is free for individual use, giving you 10,000 credits every month at no cost. This includes access to text-to-speech, speech-to-text, the conversational AI studio, and automated dubbing. However, for commercial licensing, so you can use your creations in paid projects, advertisements, or professional videos, you'll want to move to one of the paid plans. The starter plan begins at just $5 a month, while the creator plan starts at $11 a month. Plus, there's a nice bonus. You can get the creator plan at 50% off for your first month, making it only $5.50. And after that, it's $22 per month. That plan comes with perks like commercial licensing, instant voice cloning, access to the dubbing studio, and much more. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future guides. And if you think someone you know could benefit from this video, share it with your friends and family. Your support really helps the channel grow. Also, if you feel like there's something missing or there's a specific feature you'd like me to cover in more detail, let me know in the comments. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.